Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We have all so much in common, but the one unifying factor between the four of us is our connection to the music industry. And I don't think any of us would argue that being a woman in the music business has its fair share of challenges. So, with the reckoning <laughs> that this is taking place in television and film, music has yet to have its real Me Too movement okay. or address the pay gap between men and women in this business. Okay. But ladies, have you guys ever experienced gender bias working in music? And if so, how? Because we all know that you guys are two forced of escape. Hmm. Miss Tamika Harris, Tiny, and Miss <laughs> <laughs> Tamika Scott slash Winston. Uh, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> What? I'm what gonna be I honest. I, you know, my memory's kind of bad sometimes. It's selective, so <laughs> I don't remember. Like we didn't really have problems bias. like that because when we first came out, they thought we were boys. Yeah, right. We, we had kind of dressed we like boys. Band 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 <laughs> so they had to treat us right. They was like, we got to treat them right, or they're gonna beat us up. Right. <laughs> 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 Something in between. But we really didn't really experience that. No. Thank God we didn't. It's pretty much always been love, you know what I'm saying? And we haven't had no real gap between men and women. Like, it hasn't been like, you know, a big, a big uh, right. difference. Or maybe, maybe it's, it was going on down to the management and nobody, and it just didn't affect you all because mm -hmm. maybe you were so close together mm -hmm. that you were shielded from, from certain things because a lot of times our management will shield us from some of the foolishness that's going on down to behind our backs. That's, that's true, thing. that's, that's true. Good thing. They used to tell us all the time, y'all worry about singing, let us do everything mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was wrong, wrong, wrong. That was before we got hit with that $100,000 <laughs> bill for <laughs> IRS. <laughs> it was wrong. Wrong. Wait a minute, nobody told us. See what I'm we saying? We need to learn the business, y'all tripping. Right. Well, I gotta tell you, um, as a solo artist, I go through it all the time. And especially um, if I'm on a bill and I'm the only girl mm -hmm. and it's all men, like I have to tussle all the time. Even if I'm, you know, more established than another or if I got a hit record out more than the other, you know how like the, the order goes, right? Mm -hmm. So me personally, I don't really care what order they put me in in the show because it don't matter if you come before or after me, you're going to have to be good either way. That's right. That's right. Oh, okay. 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 But, and I'm going to do my job because the people that came to see me, regardless of the, where I'm at, they're there. You know right. what I'm saying? But a lot of times they'll, they'll make you go first because you're a girl. You're a woman. Ooh. I've been made to go first because I'm a woman. And for the same show, the same caliber of artists, you know, whatever they want to label us as, I'll get paid less than the men on on the same show. Wow. And normally you don't know that, but my sister be getting like all the inside scoops on people. And she'd be like, well, how much is such and such getting <laughs> uh, down to this show? And then they'll tell her, you know, and I'll be like, oh, wow, I get less than what this person gets. And I might have more albums, more hit records, you know what I'm saying? More shows, more, you know, notoriety, more followers, whatever the case may be. Um, but you could be, you can be the reason why uh, most of the fans are there and be a woman and still get less wow. than the male counterpart on that show. That's well, a problem. Let me ask you a question. What, a do, you think, do you think that maybe they put you first as an effort to pay you the opening act kind of rate mm. as opposed to, you know, the, the track, headline track or whatever. To. You understand what I'm saying? Because they can also use that as an excuse for the gap. It's like, oh, okay, right. well, she opened up. You know, there are not as many people filling in yet. Well, so we, then they strategically put you there. Well, in my in contract, in the in the negotiating, that will be stated. I won't, you know, will or, whether or not I'm an opening act or not, mm -hmm. that will be, you know, in the top, you know that. Um, but in a show like where everybody's kind of the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say if it's an R&B show or something like that, Normally, you would want to put the woman in the middle, especially if it's right. all men, so you mm -hmm. can kind of break, break it up. Break it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I heard this one story. Now, this is just a rumor. Uh -oh. Okay, so don't nobody <laughs> quote me down to the sister circle on this. <laughs> but there was a show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, then. And, um, Ara Kelly was one, was the, was the, you know, the headliner. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, 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 there was another young man on that show. I won't say the names. And there was a young lady on that show. Now, all of them were big names, mm -hmm. all of them. They put the lady first, mm -hmm. although she was just as big as the man. Mm -hmm. So what she did was <laughs> she came extremely late mm -hmm. and tried to hold up the entire show what? so that she could go right before the Robin. headliner and had been known to do that a lot of times. But the fact that we have to go to, to those lengths mm -hmm. 
yeah. just to try and get some level of respect is the part that's off the chain. But they argue, and then the man that was on that show that wasn't the headliner, Left, left the tour. Who was it? You can tell us. We I can't say it. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you after. <laughs> but, but yeah, girl. And that's the true tea. But that goes on all the time. Because you know, we do have a story like that. We were on the show with R. Kelly. We opened up for R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. And we killed it every mm. night. So mm. at first, we, they were saying, you have to have a band. Mm. Killed it. So like a week into it, it was like, Y'all, y'all don't need a band. Do it with a, a no, track. No, actually, track. it was the day. It was like one day before the show. Mm -hmm. So we had got to wherever we were supposed to be, and they was like, "Oh, y'all got a band? You can't have a band after sound check. You know, <gasps> yes, after sound so check." So it was like. How oh, you gonna say that? Jimmy. So let me tell you, we killed it. We went and called our guys from College yeah. Park, flew them out, learned a dance routine, gave a full fledged show. Mm. Then I got mad. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. She was we, out there preaching I said, we're gonna stage. show y'all. Can't nobody stop you. It don't matter what it is. Mm. We're gonna show y'all while we up here. We mm -hmm. saw the acapella baby. Say. Forget the band. Uh, we we killed it. And killed it. Of course y'all did. And he was peeking around. Rob was peeking through like, them he had bang. to come back he and say, hey, to. man. But y'all, y'all bad. We had some very expensive phone booths because our album was off the hook. They could not find our phone booths. We talked about something that weighs 100 pounds just disappeared. Yeah. So stuff like that. That is true. Happens. So we, when yeah. they can't attack you that way, they find other ways to attack. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's the tomfoolery. Yeah. And then if you if you have rights, if you fight for rights, then you a diva right. or the B word mm -hmm. or just or just concentrate on singing. And what, what, do right. yes. what do you call it? What do you call it, Selena? We are we're a woman. We're a woman, like my new <laughs> like single that's out right now. Y'all know we can talk about this forever, but really guess can. what? Hopefully, we are influencing a new generation of women and men who respect oh. one another and the instances of gender bias become the exception and not the rule okay people okay